Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. Today we're going to be buying Greaser's Cafe with Wolf Guy Jack. So this will be uh, an interesting one because I really want to see this building. Whoa! Oh, that's too small. I don't like it. <laughs> no, I was actually not so like there was um, a particular someone who was not particularly happy with the look of this building. But I'm fine with the look. I'm not fine with this size. This is too small. Let's have a look. We'll, we'll just double check. But I'm pretty sure this is way too small than it should be. Heads up! Heads, we're building yeah. 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 Springfield without insert name here. Welcome to Greaser's Cafe where everything's 1955 except the prices. And yes, we do have Wi Fi. Wolf Guy Jack. So that goes into Springfield Choppers. Take a quick screenshot. So, holding the fourth do what contest of the day. Yeah, it's just too small. The building, like, appeared so much bigger. Like, compare it to Spyro's, which is meant to be a small building as it is. It's about the same, like, it's a little bit wider. I don't know. I just think this building is... <sighs> mm. I'm happy with the, the colours. I, I think it's bright. It looks cool. It's just a bit too small from what it looks like in the show, I think. Anyway. Oh, he's got a voice. Come on in. Welcome to Greaser's Cafe. You've got your pick of booths made of old cars. I've got a hot rod open and a 55 Chevy Bel Air. The whole family's here, so we're going to need one with some serious suspension. Well, the Ford Super Deluxe in the back corner just opened up. Perfect. Where are all my employees? Yes, sir. I need you to stand outside and get some more butts in these seats. But, sir, uh, I thought my job was flipping burgers, frying fries, and watering down the soda fountain. Look, if you don't think standing outside spinning a sign will help, then how else do you think, how else do you want to turn this place around? Uh, you could try improving the food quality, like maybe starting putting real cheese on the burgers. What do you mean? Our cheese is legal. Sir, the label says 100% American singles pr processed Chinese-like product, cheese-like product. I don't know why I said Chinese. Okay, fine. I'll get real cheese for the burgers. I have some other ideas as well. I'm listening. Hey, 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 sit your socks on, hot Okay, the menu. Oh, my job! My parents will be so proud! Oh! I'm putting this on my resume! I don't know what half of this stuff you ordered even is. Meat that's not meat, gluten free buns, truffle oil? You put it on fries. Okay, but what does it do, man? It lets you change pe charge people eleven dollars for fries whoa these that's three times the price of our burgers can we also put this truffle oil on the milkshakes <laughs> uh, excuse me my burger doesn't taste like a normal burger that's because it's a na it, it's not a normal burger it's the pre-post burger made entirely of plants and laced with synthetic burger like flavoring oh great well then here's my payment uh this isn't real money no it's money like currency these fries are not fries, they're made of sweet potatoes. I want my money back or I will write a terrible review. I'm not sure I can turn this around. Defend the new menu, stock gluten free. Sir, I don't think this new direction is working. I haven't had a single request for our new locally sourced gluten-free buns. Do you have any sort? Uh, do you have any sort of secret backup plan to keep us from going out of business? Well, usually when I'm sad, I just go up on the roof and talk ne nearby. No, talk to nearby truckers on my CB radio. My call sign is WLF. But how does that help the restaurant? It doesn't. Make me makes me feel better though. So make Wolf Guy hit the airways. Hello! Good job! My parents will be so proud! Okay, so his animation is he's on the roof. He hits the machine. This is what I mean, it should be a bit bigger, like. He's barely on there. Hey, hey, that's the animation. Where's my $2 an hour? Whoa, doggy, set your socks on hop and your 2E to fruity because this place is more packed than a dance hall with an open bar. Who are these people? I'm seeing a lot of scarves, vintage t-shirts, and apparel-sized apparel hats. Welcome to Greasy's Cafe. Can I ask how, how did you guys hear about us? Oh, it was all the rage on the CB Airway last night. This one guy wouldn't stop talking about this place. You guys listen to the CB? You're all truckers? 
Oh, we're not truckers, we're hipsters. We all just happen to own vintage radios. Well, however you heard about us, I'm glad you're here. I hope you enjoy our cool 50s memorabilia on the walls and our booths made of gold cars. Oh yes, we all love all that. I mean, ironically of course, but yes, we love slash hate it. All right, Hepcats, it's time for a dupe, do whooping dance off. The winner will take home this brand new Harley Davidson. I uh, it was very expecting a bigger response to that. Maybe they don't know what a Harley Davidson is. I repeat, the winner of this contest will take home this brand new motorcycle. Okay, um, uh, how about the winner will of the dance contest will take home this vintage bicycle? A vintage bicycle? Ooh, I'm in. It's one of a kind. No one else can have a bicycle but me. That bicycle but me. Grease's cafe is the best. Have a dun dance contest. See, I'm just dancing. Oh wait, no, a woman comes along. Another woman comes along. Another comes along. Is that the same one? I don't even know. Oh, it's just different ones each. It's, it sometimes repeats the same one. Will be so and proud. buy organic grass-fed cage-free lettuce. Oh, goodness, am I, I can't believe my luck. I used to have to give away my expensive motorcycles just to promote the restaurant and it killed the budget. But all these hipsters want a crappy old repainted bic bicycles. I'm gonna save a fortune. Hey, uh, if you need a supplier for old bicycles, I got you covered. Are they vintage? As vintage as an old menu items. Allen Ginsberg's on American cheese sandwiches. Polio dogs. Yeah, I can't believe this business survived at all with this with that menu. Hey, 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 Whoa, it's 7 a.m. Where is everyone? 7 p.m. Where is everyone? The dance contest is starting in 10 minutes, and I've got a vintage penny fathering to give away. None of the hips just showed up tonight. Do you think it's because I accidentally bought the wrong kind of soy-based pickles? Wait, there's two of them there. Hey, you two. Where are your friends? Why is no one at my cafe tonight? Oh, um, yeah, Greece is just isn't it. This isn't the same anymore. Ever since everybody start coming here. Yeah, it used to be cool, now it's lame. Wait, we're not cool because we got too cool. Yeah, we're just back here because I forgot my beard comb. Oh, there it is. But I just expanded the cafe hours to include Saturday brunch and added avocado toast on the, to the menu. Sorry dude, the avocado toast is very um last decade. You could add a drive through then we could eat some of your food in our cars without being seen. Hey, 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 Hello? Minimum wage for this? Try to return wow. to the Hey, hey, set your socks on hop and your duty to fruity. Where's my two dollars an hour? So adding the drive through seems to have really picked up business. Yeah, but it's not the same. Grease's cafe was all about the do do whoop do wop dancing and 1950s experience. Oh well, at least we're making money. Okay. Hey, hey, set your socks on hop and your duty to fruity. Hit the airways, overpay sex on the beach, take the swallado, try and win a blind drag, drink a babysitter, attend parenting seminars, have a dance contest, dance the senior burns, wash the wind shields on the booths, run with the wolves, and go speed dating. So, yeah, that's Wolf Guy Jacks and his tasks. That, of course, is the Greasers Cafe. Not a terrible item. I think there's, it's, it's okay. Uh, he's not particularly a, a massive character, but I think he was alright. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me your thoughts on Wolf Guy Jack and his cafe. Um, I'll see you next one. Goodbye.